Yo, what up? Chicken on a stick today. Let's get it. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Eat good, live well, stay true. Back with another one today. Just kind of vibing out, having a little jam with you um, with some chicken on a stick. Uh, also pineapple, a little green onion, a little cherry a sauce, and also clearly the sauce boss, Sweet Baby Ray. Oh, there we go, focus back here. Sweet Baby Ray, uh, a little toasted sesame seed on top, sprinkle, sprinkle, and then kind of garnish, just another little bit of the uh, green onion as well. I think I got the focus for today to figure it out a little bit. Uh, we just have it in a general space. So my face and then this should be pretty clear as well. I'm trying today to not do the zzz, zzz, in and out, in and out, in and out. I'm starving, very excited. This is a very simple recipe. I'm starving, so let's eat. So boom, I don't know if you can really get in there that good, but we'll see. This is a green onion chicken bite. delicious mm. that cooked like charred green onion is phenomenal I personally believe that everything tastes better off a stick and this is proving to be true Go in with a uh, cherry sauce dab. Bright red. Mmm. Mmm. I love that cherry sauce. So, so good. This reminds me, actually, weirdly enough, I don't know if you've ever seen, if you've not seen the movie, it's called Six Days, Seven Nights. with Anne Hesch and Harrison Ford. I told her, it's like a 90s. It's a 90s uh, stranded on a desert island vibe. But they go down on a plane crash. Harrison being the pilot that he is, because Harrison did G. They end up on this like tropical island or whatever. And obviously when you're stranded on a tropical island, you need to have food. You need to find food to eat. So um, they're hunting random like game on the island and there's a peacock. Um, She's all like very like vegan or vegetarian or something. And she's like, no, <laughs> like you're not going to kill the peacock. And he's like, yeah, I am. I need to eat that. So this scene, anyways, he kills the peacock. And for some reason or another in their like supplies, he has like cherry sauce, like this sauce essentially which I don't know why he'd be flying with cherry sauce, but he has it and it's like supplies. And he's got the bird like spit roasted over an open fire. 
and he's like basting it with the cherry sauce. And then they start eating it, and the and the peacock looks like so like greasy and juicy and delicious. <laughs> and this is what this reminds me of, just because that nice char with the cherry. I just remember when I was watching that movie. I guess I first saw it when I was like twelve or some shit. I don't know, but. I just always remember like that scene making me so hungry, like just so crazy. Like I was just like, oh my God, I need that. I need to eat a peacock right now. I never did, however, get to eat a peacock. Though I'm open to the idea. So if anybody out there cooks peacock, invite me. I'm going to have a peacock roast. Is that a thing for anybody else? It's such like I because we all watch like eating videos and make eating videos and shit. Like in certain movies, there's always like those scenes where like it's kind of like ASMR-ish and kind of like makes you hungry. For me, the the donut in Home Alone when the cops eating the donut on the phone. And like one piece falls and like sticks to the phone and then falls off and you like hear it hit like the papers on his desk. Such a strange thing to be like. Activated by but totally was. You can crush these fast. I'm also just starving, so. I guess this will be a bit of a quicker video. Oh, that one looks great. Full length. Sesame seeds. Delicious. If you guys have any specific movie scenes like that, put them down below. Tell me what your most crave-worthy like scene was. There's like the one where Kurt Russell's eating nachos and like, fuck, I can't remember that movie. He's like in a bar eating nachos. And it's like so ASMR. Mmm, that pineapple though. Mmm. What else is there? There's like a scene in like Uncle Buck. And they're like eating like, like snacking on like carrots or something. Then there's also the epic part in Uncle Buck when he's like cooking that fucking giant pancake with a shovel. <laughs> on like an abnormally large flat top that you would never have in any normal house. Like who has a flat top the size of that in their house? Absolutely nobody. I've also been told that in my other video, you guys are like, oh, your eyes are like baby blue and they match your 
hat. We'll see what happens on this video, but I've been told that my hat or my eyes <coughs> have the ability to chameleon between green and blue and kind of match what I'm wearing, what they're nearest to. They kind of reflect between green and blue though, nothing else obviously, but between the two colors, I've been told that they go back and forth dependent upon what it is that I'm wearing. So I got my Peter Pan on or my Robin Hood maybe. Yeah, that's more Robin Hood, my Robin Hood. And let's see if they go, they go Robin Hood as well. All right, last one. This one's all chicken. See a nice little char on the back there. I engineered it that way. I wanted one that was just chicken. So good. If you did it with a different sauce, and maybe, you know, eliminate the pineapple, it'd be a good keto treat, good keto meal. But these sauces are full of sugar, so definitely can't have the sauce. But you could totally get creative. For sure. Oh, yeah. Dirty slam of water. Always feels nice. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that random ramble about peacocks and whatnot. Robin Hood, etc. Till the next one. You know what to do. You gotta eat good. You gotta live well. You gotta stay true. Happy holidays.